Then you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas for the children above all. Then you know it's Christmas. Santa's on his way. We stand under the mistletoe. Christmas Day. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. It's 11 o'clock and we're opening the advent calendar in... Yeah, day number five. I tried to get a pencil to open it, but the pencil broke. Snowman! What is he? Snowman. Snowman. Okay, I got mine open. Hold on one second. Okay, Johnny, tell them what's behind door number five. What'd you get? Look at the picture. A hat. Is there... Hmm. The hat may be an ornament. Does the hat fit over the antlers? Well look, there's well, a bunny hat. A bell bunny. Well, um, Wait, look, there's holes. For, is there holes for the antlers or no? This is all you get. Well, see, she's gonna get a um, pet soon. Mm -hmm. Santa! I bet he's a 24th. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Oh. Okay. Let's put it up! Ah. Yeah. Maybe it's for this. Put it back over there. You got your toy for today. Sock did you put on? Oh. Woo! No. Did mommy laugh at you? I'm sorry. Oh, see the elves are. Oh, the new husband are right there. Together? Yeah. And then Quincy's right there. What are we doing? Quincy, Quincy's right there. He's right there. Then mm. there's Jojo. With the candy cane. Yeah. Say hey guys. <laughs> Somebody's very crabby. <laughs> Nothing makes her happy. <laughs> Jern. Oh. Jern. Oh, we already got that. Are you going to open your toy? Where, where, what is it? What? Number six. Where's number three? <gasps> oh, I hope you get the kitty. Okay, there you go. <gasps> oh, what did you get? Yeah. Tell Sissy help. <gasps> Yay! You got a kitty! So, now I'm going to open day number six. Oh, 
can you open it for me? What did we get? I don't want to... Don't let me. Hmm? Can you do it, Jaren? Can you help her? <laughs> My finger. <gasps> what is that? This. She's got a chairs. There's a slide. A sled. It looks more like a chair. Oh, sorry. I wonder if she's gonna get if I'm gonna get her. But I know we'll probably get them. She sit down in her chairs. So what happened here? So at Ollie's, they sell Christmas bedding and for $9.99 and I got that one. They had a dog one, but we got Oh wow, your bed is so cozy. You should feel the inside sheets. Oh wow. Can I just sleep with you? Yeah. I want you. Hey guys! It's Friday, Friday. I don't even think, did I vlog anything yesterday? I don't even know. Let me tell you. I don't think I did. Probably a little bit, but let me tell you. I didn't work yesterday. <laughs> um, well, actually, I worked in the morning, packaging up orders and cutting out... Um, what was that? What are the um, patches? And I had to put bows on some tutus and make one hair bow. So, um, anyway, so then, like, the orders I have to make are a 5T long sleeve ruffle shirt, which I'm waiting for in the mail, a size 6 ruffle shirt that I'm waiting for on the mail, and then a size 6 black shirt that I was waiting for to come in the mail, but it came in the mail today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one done. Um, it's for a boy. I ordered, had to order from Blanks Boutique because um, Airb Blanks is out of boy shirts. And then while I was there, I think I had an order for a tutu. I think. I'm not positive. I don't really know why. But then I went ahead and ordered a 5T because it seems like I'm always getting orders for 5T. What is it? Can we go see Papa? He's right there. I don't care. Okay. We can bring him back in here. Anyway, so I'm going to make that shirt. And then I am going to work on some tutus. I have 50 million ribbon trim tutus to make. So I'm going to just work on some of those. Um, one goes with... Uh, one of the shirts I'm waiting for so I'm thinking it'll be in tomorrow um, it did take them like a couple days to ship my order out I think I ordered I don't remember when I ordered I might have ordered Monday night maybe maybe it was Monday night I know it was late whenever I ordered it, so I knew it was going to go out that day. And then, let's see. Maybe it was Monday night, and they didn't ship it out until yesterday. So, and then they shipped, but they shipped this one out, too. Um, actually, I got the tracking information on this Wednesday night. So, I assumed they didn't ship it out until... I assumed it wasn't going to go out until yesterday, which is Thursday, but apparently, somehow, I don't know, it got shipped, I don't know, I don't care, I got it, <laughs> and then in the mail today, I got some yellow 100 yard polka dot ribbon, um, so, whoa, I really love this new chair, because I can like recline back. <laughs> oh, so I was upstairs and me and Sterly bought these fake nails at the Dollar Tree. 
and I think the, the ones that I liked that I bought like two or three Christmases ago I think they came from Dollar General not Dollar Tree so I saw these and for a dollar I was like heck yes I'll buy them because I thought they were cute Let's see if we can get it to don't mind my eczema fingers that's why my fingers always look like crap because I have eczema and so I'm not gonna go and get my nails done at a salon and look at my ugly nails with my eczema all over although I must say right now I mean I'm this one's a little I don't have a lot of flaring up right now just a couple rough patches where it was and it's healing but um yeah so I got these nails and here's the thing okay Dollar Tree nails the thing only came with 12 fingernails in it hello I've got 10 fingers and that means you know two of them aren't gonna fit and you have to make the other ones fit if they don't fit you know you're not gonna have a full set of nails so I ended up having to cut this one um, this one I think it was made for a thumbnail but I had to cut it down so it would fit this one barely fit on my finger it's probably not gonna show up but yeah you can see my real fingernail and then I had to cut my fingernails off in order for these nails to go on because my real nails are longer than these these are actually short they're really really I mean I don't know they're just really short like stubby almost so but anyway and then journey came in and she was looking at my fingernails and she calls everything nails toenails she that's what she calls them she was like oh pity toenails <laughs> I thought was so cute anyway so I'm downstairs I think we're gonna have leftovers for dinner because I made yeah that's right because we did I did did I film some at play practice I don't know um we had to go to play practice last night and then um, before we went because I had planned on making meatloaf on Wednesday night but it didn't get made Wednesday um, I was gonna make it Thursday and I knew I had to make it otherwise I'm gonna be wasting a huge package of hamburger so I made a huge meatloaf for us and then I had like one of those little tin foil loaf pans um, I made my father-in-law a meatloaf in it and then before we went to play practice I just dropped off some meatloaf and mashed potatoes and so anyway I think we're gonna have leftovers because like we ma I made it and Sterling and I and Journey ate and had to leave like within it was done at like 548 practice starts at 6 so we didn't even leave the house until after 6 but we were late but you know what are you gonna do because I had a lot going on <laughs> so I'm just like anyway I'm going to try to get a little bit of work done I'm gonna try to embroider out um, this shirt it's just a number applique so it's nothing fancy and then I'm going to see what other orders that I have that I can work on even if they are due to ship out like Monday or Tuesday or you know I'm just gonna try to get something done I need to make a couple patches um, I made a patch for a customer um, let me know if you have an Etsy shop has this ever happened to you um, where somebody orders and they need to change the address they need the address and um, need it sent somewhere else so what I usually do is put a private note and that private note shows up underneath the order um, so that way I know to change the address because you know come a week later I'm not gonna remember that you told me to change your address <laughs> so they messaged me and I noted that order and when I look at it the note didn't show up on the order but the note is still like if we look through our mess my messages to them and I said okay thanks I'll note it and then on the side of it it says private note or whatever um but it didn't add it to the order if that makes sense the note is still there I mean I can still see it so um, 
it got sent to wherever it didn't get sent to where they wanted it changed it's a patch I mean I'm like I just told them I'd remake it and send it since obviously I don't have a lot to embroider up tonight now don't get me wrong I have a lot of orders I can work on but um, the way I work is uh, my turnaround time is two weeks so like I'm going to be working on orders that need to ship out like today I'd be working on orders that need to ship out next Saturday if that makes sense even though I don't ship Saturday but I'll be working on orders like Saturday and Sunday orders that would go out on Monday and even Monday orders just to try to get them out the door Monday but anyway I didn't know if that was just like some fluky thing that happened because after you know I was talking to them and I saw it and then I did it again and saved it it saved that time although it still shows it in my notes over there but not on the order so I don't know why so I'm just gonna remake it yes did she see Papa yep there was somebody down there talking to Papa Papa said say like we started to walk away because mm -hmm. I didn't know who it was and he said yoo-hoo and then he did this so I was like okay so then I was like so then he said say hello to Mr. James uh -huh. he looked familiar but he was parked like in their yard like on the side of it uh -huh. then he left and then we stayed there and then uh -huh. we came back up take our socks and shoes off her. but no wait first the puppy's up there. Can I call him down to come play or pet him? No, because you're working on your schoolwork. Schoolwork comes first. Okay. Okay. Um, I just, I have to show you guys what I made. <laughs> I love it. Look at how cute is Baby Yoda. Um, Jessica. I think there's a piece of thread. How can you get anything off with fake nails on? Um, Jessica sent me a uh, message and she showed me like this file so of course I had to go buy it <laughs> well first I saw it and I was like oh it's so cute and then I showed it to my husband he was like yes he was like oh it'd be so cool if you made the girls shirts um, for tomorrow because we're gonna go to a con tomorrow um, I don't have any shirts in sterling size besides this one which is supposed to be her thanksgiving shirt and if i totally honest i think i really like it on the brown so i think it really sticks out on brown i think on white because this little pod is kind of like a off-white color that i think it might not show up as good and then gray so i think it looks really cute on brown so, and that for Sterling, I don't know if I'm going to make Journey 1 yet. We'll see. It's almost 6 o'clock. My husband will be home in probably 20, 30 minutes. I guess we'll just have leftovers because I don't know what else. And I don't know if he has anything planned to do anything. I did make the shirt. Oh, that's okay. Over there. I haven't started on any ribbon trims. Um, Ster Journey. Sterling. Journey. Well, Sterling finished her schoolwork, and then um, Journey just wanted to be hold, held, and she nursed, and she fell asleep, because the only time she nurses is at night, and when she's tired, like when she needs a nap, so um, she fell asleep, so she's up there sleeping. Now I'm like, what should I do? Should I work on the patch? Should I work on a different order? Should I work on a shirt for Journey? I might just do a shirt for Journey. And I might actually do it on brown because I still have Journey's on Thanksgiving shirt because I never made them Thanksgiving shirts because they ran out of time. And the file's already in there. And it's already... I might actually do that since everything's already prog programmed in. And that way the girls both have a shirt to wear tomorrow. And they'll look so cute. <laughs>
guys, it is 11.30 and I need to go to bed. We're going to go to a con tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, Journey's down here. She's watching Masha and the Bear. But, um, so I have technically three orders I'm supposed to get done. Oh. I have three orders that say they're going to ship Friday. One was placed on Saturday. The other two were placed on a Sunday. Technically, they would ship out on the weekend, but I don't ship on um, Saturdays if we're not home. But I am going to ship this shirt and two patches because they will fit in my mailbox. And yeah. So those will ship tomorrow, but the other two shirts I was supposed to get done. I don't have the shirts. I'm hoping they'll be in tomorrow. And I could have made other items on my list, but I never ever ever have time to make anything, it seems like, for the girls. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. So I went ahead, I made the Santa that I wanted to make. Um I don't even remember where I bought this design. I bought it like probably three years ago. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but it's called the Swirly Beard Santa. I'm sure if you type in Swirly Beard Santa, they probably still sell it on Etsy. Um, but I did this before for on a shirt for Sterling, and then I think I did it on a dress. But I did it with glitter vinyl. Can you see? And then this up here, I actually did the hat in this fabric here, which is just a regular cotton fabric with glitter sparkle. I just want it to have a different texture. So like the swirly beard is kind of like, you can see the light shines off it. Anyway, so, and then I made them both Yoda, baby Yoda shirts. Um, I want to get a picture of this so I can add it to my shop because it's so stinking cute. Um, if you've been watching the new Mando on Disney Plus, you had would have seen Baby Yoda. I have to catch up. I haven't watched, I think I watched the first three episodes and now I have to catch up. I think there's two more. Anyway, um, I finally did this shirt for Journey. This was actually supposed to be for her birthday. Uh, what did I do with those leggings? I'll find the leggings here in a minute. Um, she has little leggings that match, not match this, but match the colors. That's why I chose these colors for it her initials and then the dresses so this one's Jern's um, so I did that one that way and then I did Sterly's so they kind of the same but opposite like the bows I did opposite and then the middle so I did opposite but they're so cute and then I added the lace so it would be long enough Ah, oh, and now what I do with my leggings. Oh my goodness, you guys. There's so much, so much stuff. Okay, I found them. <laughs> so I need to carry all this stuff up. So we got two dresses. These are the leggings. So, so they just match the dinosaurs. And their Yoda shirts for tomorrow, and then this, and then these. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye! Send us a Christmas card and we'll send you one back. Bye!